So how do I know my peptides are being mismanaged? Great question. So one would be if somebody is starting you on a stack of like five or 10 peptides at once and not really asking you to stagger them, just telling you to take all of them at once. Problem with that is if something's wrong with the way you feel after a couple of days of starting a stack like that, it's gonna be really hard to determine which one is the one making you feel bad. Now, granted, some of them have different effects, so you might be able to narrow it down. You might be able to guess which one it is, take one of them off, but it's really difficult to determine for sure with certainty what's making you feel a certain way when you're on five things at once. So I always say it's best to start with one, see how you do at least for a couple of days, maybe a couple of weeks, and then see the benefits of that peptide. See if it actually benefits you because all these treatments have risks as well. That'd be the second reason how you would know if your peptides are being mismanaged is if your doctor is not asking you the appropriate questions. For example, for risk stratification, it is very important for peptides to ask if you have active malignancy or if you have a history of malignancy or a family history of malignancy. If nobody's asking you that, then that means their provider is not doing a due diligence in your health and they're not an advocate for your long-term health because there are certain peptides that like growth hormone secretagogues, BPC-157, TB-500 are contraindicated for people who have active malignancy. Also, some of these peptides are still under research, which would be the third thing. If somebody's giving you research peptides, the provider needs to discuss with you that these peptides are currently under research. There should be a waiver. There should be a consent form discussing the fact that these peptides are currently under research. We're still not 100% sure based on the trials that if they're completely safe for routine use and if these conversations aren't taking place and you're getting these without somebody explaining this to you or at least going over the risk factors with you and risk stratifying you getting informed consent going over the risks and benefits then that's not a good place to get your peptides i would recommend getting it from somebody who is going to talk to you more about these things before you do them because your long-term health is definitely at stake with these things we still don't know 100 what they do and so it's important to ask these questions before, during, and after your treatment. If you're still undergoing treatment and people haven't asked you this, it's not too late to talk to your provider and get the information, but everybody deserves to have these conversations with their provider whenever they have any questions about it.